So when I put out the part 5 and part 5.1 uh, definitive proof videos that show how it's impossible for the sun and moon to be doing circles over a AE map, I had a couple questions in the back of my mind as to who from the popular flat earth community would respond to this, what would they respond with, and how long would it take them? Well, all of those questions have been answered now. So there's this uh, new video that was put out yesterday by Dr. Zach that uh, addresses the angle of the sunrise issues that I've been talking about. And I'm just going to call fair use. I'm going to play a short clip of the video here so that I can do some commentary and uh, discuss this. So here's a short clip from the video. I'll be leaving a link to this video in the description box. Many scientists think that the flat earth model can't work because it can't represent sunrise and sunset. What are they going to say after studying this proof? Is it going to make sense to some of them now? They can't ignore the atmosphere. And all we did to make the flat earth model work was add the atmosphere exactly how science represents it. We didn't make it up. Now, solving this problem doesn't mean that we solved everything. We still have a problem with the elevation angles. Because the sun that we see is not in its real position. What we see is just the apparent sun. So imagine the, the real sun is here and the fake sun is here. The shadow that you're going to get is going to follow the, the apparent sun and not... Okay, so in order to uh, address the angle issue, uh, what they've done is they've added atmosphere to the model and we no longer see the real sun we see an apparent sun. The real sun, and this is not what we want. Okay? So the elevation angle that you're going to measure with the sixpence or with any other tool is not the angle of the real position of the sun. It's just the angle of the apparent sun. And we're still working on how to locate the real sun that we never see. Once we locate it, we will be able to get the exact elevation angles of the real position of the sun. And by doing that, we can draw the flat earth map from scratch. Okay, so you got that? We, uh, we can't measure the angle of the sun anymore. Because it's not the real sun, it's an apparent sun. Well, Dr. Zach... I'm disappointed and you're getting a thumbs down and I am unsubscribed. So is it just a coincidence that after I put out the part 5 and part 5.1 that we're, we're now being told that we don't see the real sun, we can't measure the, uh, the angle that the sun rises and sets um, with any type of tool because it's not the real sun, it's just an apparent sun. Well, I got this comment from deep inside the rabbit hole. The sun is in a position relative to the viewer. This explains things going behind the sun or through it. Well, what's this video? Oh! It's the Dr. Zach video that we just looked at. Now if we go to deep inside the rabbit hole's channel, the uh, newest video that's up, let's check that out. I'm just going to play a short clip of this uh, to give you an idea of what's going on here. Um, I'm going to call fair use because I'm using this for commentary. So we're seeing the moon travel away in a curving arc. And here we go, right to the model. So you look at that footage, and then you're shown the model of them doing circles. All right, it's not possible. So, before I leave the channel here, get a thumbs down and an un unsubscribe. Well, for the people that have seen my part 5 and part 5.1 videos that, that show how it's impossible for the sun and moon to be doing circles around uh, or over an AE map, uh, the common uh, thing that I heard in the comments was, is, well, we can't trust the data from timeanddate.com. Now, Wolfie6020 here, there's a little bit of an interesting story. I, I had banned him from the channel, but I got a message from him saying that he could prove uh, from Perth, Australia, that the sun is setting south of west. And uh, so I unbanned him, 
and I'm happy to have him back on the channel. He did an excellent job. Uh, this video is unlisted, but he's given me permission to use it, so I'm just going to screencast it for you right now. So the purpose of this video today is to prove that the sun is setting to the south of due west in Perth, Australia, which is 32 degrees south latitude. It's uh, Tuesday, the 18th of October, which you can see there on the local newspaper. And on my Galaxy Tab app, it's showing the latitude and the longitude. So we're 32 degrees south latitude, 115 degrees, 45 minutes east longitude. So we're, um, we're more than 500 miles further south than the Tropic of Capricorn. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just move and pan around and uh, let you establish where the location is. I'm just on the corner of Princess Street and Avonmore Terrace near Cottesloe Beach. And if you just pan around, when you get onto Google uh, Maps and Street View, you'll be able to verify this location yourself. Why I chose this location is because this road, Princess Street, runs exactly due west. Okay, so directly down in that direction is west. And as you can see, the sun is already further south than due west. Okay, other ways we can verify that is to look at the shadows. Come up here and look at the street sign shadows. You'll see they're angled across in that direction. Okay, so the sun is already south of due west. We also have a small magnetic compass. We can have a look at what that's showing. I've got that pointed straight down the road and you'll see that the red north bar is aligned with the, the red in that compass. Okay, let's try and get the perspective right for you. So it's pointing straight down the road. Now, the point of doing this is to prove the geometry of the actual sunset confirms that um, any of the flat earth maps, such as the Gleason, just don't work. Because if you have a look at where the sun is supposed to be on the Gleason map on this date, spinning around in a circle, there is no way the sun is going to be setting to the south of due west. It would actually be up here somewhere, and obviously that's not the case. Okay, we'll uh, make another video just as the sun's going down. So the last part of the video is just to verify where I was, obviously in Perth, Australia, and uh, just near Cottesloe Beach. You can see right in the style of the picture I mentioned in the earlier part of the video. But uh, where we were was just down here, just south of the Sydney Golf Club, uh, on Princess Street, right near the intersection of Avon Mall. Right there. Okay. Now if we move that road directly up, line it up with the top of your browser, you can see that the road is running absolutely perfectly east-west. So we've verified that. If you have a look with um, Street View, just point your little man in where we were, and that's the location you saw in the video. And Princess Street, Avonmore Street, just stand in the middle, and you can see that's actually the uh, the correct location. So I'm just including this part so you can verify yourself that the um, code was perfectly uh, due west. So Wolfie did an exceptionally great job of, of documenting and, and proving all this. And I really put the call out to everybody that's in the southern hemisphere, hemisphere, yeah, um, to do the same thing, to verify this. Uh, to make videos just like this, just the way Wolfie did. So Wolfie62 had a, a part two where he had the sun closer to the uh, horizon. This is the same street. And uh, you tell me, is that the real sun or an apparent sun? You know, who are you going to believe right now? The uh, promoters of the popular flat earth? Or are you going to believe your own eyes? You know, we got... We got stuck in the position that we're in right now because we got taught to not pay attention to our senses anymore. We were told that uh, we're spinning a thousand miles an hour in one direction, 66,000 miles an hour in another, 660,000 in another, and over 6 million in another. So um, by not paying attention to our senses, that's how we got stuck on a ball earth. Now that we're getting off the ball earth, are we to not use our senses again? 
Does that make sense to you? So this is footage that I got tonight, and um, all I can say is that the Lord works in mysterious and wonderful ways. And right after popular Flat Earth channel coming out with, you know, the apparent sun concept, I got a perfect sunset tonight. It shows the sun coming through the clouds, clouds behind the sun. Now I have it in manual focus, and you'll see that I, I clear it up. The, um, the focus, I'm trying to focus on the sun, and then we've got clouds that are closer that are going to be a little bit blurry, and, and clouds in the background that are going to be a little bit blurry. It gets better as we go. Um, the only thing that I've done to the video is I added stabilization. Uh, in order to get this shot, I had to climb up on the roof of my house and standing on the roof of the house and the camera on a tripod it did make it a little bit shaky so uh, I'm gonna let this run at real time uh, the only thing that's been done to it is image stabilization Now as we're waiting for the sun to get uh, through this layer of clouds right here, I want you to be considering if, if we're on a ball and the sun is 93 million miles away, I want you to pay attention to all the layers of clouds that are around and think about how the sun would be completely blocked out of view. There's, there's clouds all the way off to the horizon behind this. You'll see as it gets lower and lower. And then also, if, if we're thinking about the popular flat earth model and, and the sun circling overhead, the sun would be traveling into this bank of clouds. Once it penetrated it, it would be obscured from our view. We wouldn't see it again. Now once again, I've got the manual focus back to the sun, trying to make the edge of the sun as crisp as possible so the uh, clouds that are in the foreground are going to be blurry and the, the clouds in the background are going to be blurry. Now pay attention to all those clouds off in the background on the right hand side. Um, there's plenty behind the sun, but you can see just little small wispiness that's in front of the sun. And it is visible. It's not, it's not being obscured by the brightness. Look at that hanging cloud that looks like a dog leg. Uh, towards the left hand side of the sun. Look at the way the light penetrates through it. 
but it still still shows up. You can see little wispy clouds on the right hand side, but all the clouds in the background, they are behind the sun. And here is where it gets really interesting. So watch down in the lower right hand corner. That's a power plant off in the distance. I'll show you how far it is on Google Earth or Maps. It's like 5.6 miles. Look at, look at the effect of that heat plume in the sun right now. And try and tell me that the sun is 93 million miles away. Or that the flat earth model with the sun and moon circling, you know, they say 3,000 miles up. And they keep lowering at that. Even 20 miles up. It's not 20 miles up. It's right behind the heat plume. The sun descends. And it, it sets at a distance of probably 10 miles from you if you're, if you're not viewing it from an elevated position for each one of us locally, the way we see it. So somebody off in Austin, 10 miles away, seeing the sun set 10 miles to the west of them. It's not the same sun. Otherwise... The people in Austin right now would be looking east to see the sunset. The sunset's right behind that heat plume. Oh yeah, and don't forget all the clouds that are right behind the sun. You see those? <laughs> Come on, 93 million miles away? 3,000 miles up? Now with those clouds behind there? No way. And are you paying attention to how it's setting as a full-size ball? It's not shrinking as it goes off in the distance here. Not in this footage. I have seen footage where it does that, but... <laughs> Look at that. Oh my word. Let's check this out with uh, Google Earth here. I'm not going to click exactly on my house, but I'll get close. And uh, right here is the power plant. So we'll zoom in and you can see that right here's the smokestack. And here's, here's where that heat plume is coming from, these, these vents right here. So we'll set this here and we get a distance of 5.53 miles and a heading of 260 degrees. Now off to good old timeanddate.com, Austin, Texas, October 18th. 
scroll down here and we've got a, a sunset of 259 degrees so very very close so as we watch this clip again I just want to remind everyone this video is for flat earthers um, the earth's not a ball that sun's not 93 million miles away it's also not the popular flat earth model that we've been shown with the sun and moon doing circles. The scriptures tell us that there'll be signs in the sun and moon and stars. And, and if this isn't a sign for us right here, I don't know what is. The sun and moon and stars are, are telling us what reality is. Now, we're all subject to making mistakes and misinterpreting them, but this is just raw footage, and, and just watch it over and over and consider all the consequences of what you see in this footage. And uh, I'll keep putting out more and more videos. I do believe this is a simulation, and um, I'll show you why.